Dr. Ralph, in your opinion, is it possible to prevent back problems? Yes, yeah. it yes. can. It can be prevented mm -hmm. How? for the most part. Normally, as the Clip was saying, normally we want to make sure that people are doing a daily exercise program, they're mm -hmm. maintaining their weights and living a healthy lifestyle. Those are th uh, three things that are really important. Also, m watching your posture, the way you sit, the, the way you, you do um, lift, it, lift things up. Those are things that actually can cause uh, back problems. So if you do them in a, in a really um, precise manner, you can avoid uh, injuries in the, in the, down the stretch. And there are medicines that one can take uh, to kind of help with that back pain. Correct. I'm not sure it's going to cure it, but it can help. Uh, let's show our viewers a graphic. Uh, Anti-inflammatories? Absolutely right. Um, Anti-inflammatory medication will be the, the, the first step for most, most patients. That will be medications such as Aleve, Advil. Those medications, what they do is just bring the inflammation down, as the word says, just to by bringing the inflammation down, that's what's causing the symptoms, the pain. Normally, we can treat the symptoms there. Muscle relaxants will be medications to help your muscle relax. For the most part, those medications, there's no good evidence that muscle relaxants they help in the in the long term. Uh, normally, what's being recommended will be about two weeks of muscle relaxants. Um, after two weeks, there's no evidence that those medications help. Narcotics, we try to stay away from narcotics unless there's a fracture or there's a, we just did a surgical procedure. Normally, narcotics, what they do is just trick the brain, uh, but they're not doing anything for your, for your actually, actual source of pain. Mm -hmm. Tricyclic antidepressants will be medication that are antidepressants that in low doses, they work for pain. Because in, in pain, the, some chemicals in the brain are being lowered. So those, um, the, same as, the same chemicals, they go down on depression. So what they do is that they boost those levels up. And finally, anti-seizure medications, so there will be medications such as, such as gabapentin or Lyrica. Those medications, what they do is that they just start, try to calm the nerves down. Some people, they have sciatica symptoms or numbness, tingling, or pain going on the arms or, or legs.